I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, are you sniffing? No, we can stop it. <laughs> Was he just Let's sniffing go. her? Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode six of the Living Skyrim Four playthrough. So, I just want to say thank you all before this video starts to everybody who's been watching my videos and commenting the just absolute amazing things you guys have been commenting. I really appreciate it. You guys have just been uh, truly great and I appreciate everything. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I know last episode we were having this issue with the compass on the top of my screen. I got that figured out. Um, it's a little uh, key binding conflict though, because I think it's pretty sure it's X and it comes up with journal. So we'll have to either just not care about it turning off or we'll just have to change the, uh, the key binds here. I don't even know what this is. We'll just, uh, we'll just read this quickly before, um, we continue with this guy's quest right here, because, uh, the compass shows us where you go. Beforehand, I was like, where do we get this guy's items? Um, he was a prisoner, if y'all forget, in this dungeon here, the Ford Graymore dungeon. He, we got him out, and he was like, hey, uh, I need, uh, I need my items. And I was like, yeah, where are they? And he was like, I don't know. But the, uh, the compass showed us. I definitely wouldn't have been able to find it without the compass. Anyways, journal help. This is the take notes help window. Please check out the mod configuration menu to customize your journal theme, fonts, and controls. You can either use the system with the new menu, mouse only for now, or buying keys to all the available functions and not the and not use the menu at all. Okay. You can toggle the menu on off by pressing the menu toggle key, default equals space. You can toggle the menu on off and you toggle the default space. What does this do? Okay. You can uh, you can move the journal by pressing shift arrow keys. You can change the size and opacity by pressing blank. You can change, you can toggle this window by pressing F1. F1. And so is this just for us? I think this is just for us to to write notes. Interesting. That's kind of, huh? <laughs> Look at his face, dude. Wait. 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 <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, so 90 feet is Cassius' items. I wonder if it's inside or if it's outside. I want to say it's outside. Oh. Don't tell me it's in the same spot where we got him out of. That would be so annoying. Oh, no, wrong way, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> Alright, so I would be curious to see uh, where we are, like, progress-wise. Not in terms of, like, game completion, but... What is this? This is episode 6, and we haven't even seen, like, a dragon. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like, um, and the same thing with like Minecraft too, like I make a lot of videos, but it doesn't feel like I'm actually making progress, you know, or making like a lot of progress. It, I mean, the games I do play, they're super extensive and they have so much stuff going on. You know, Minecraft, the, the mod pack I would play was like just insanely large. It's, it's like so much stuff to, uh, so much stuff to do in it. So maybe that's why we were just doing a bunch of stuff. But with this, it's kind of like. I mean, this is this is similar too because this game has a insane amount of quests, so you can you can get to like level fifty just not even doing the main quest line, and I, I think pe plenty of people have done that before. You know, like they've done everything except the main quest line, and then when you go through the main quest line, it's the easiest thing because the main quest line is like level twenty, and these guys spend just hours and hours doing side quests, and they're you know level level fifty. Um, but if you if you guys are liking this uh, style of, of playthrough, like, you know, doing the side quests and not just sticking to the main quest, because that's what that's what I like to do. I think just hammering through the main quest is, just, I don't know, it gets a little boring. You know, it doesn't let you see the full world. By Lorcan, they, oh, that is knock over your stuff, dude. Them. Why would they do this? There's plenty of firewood to spare. 
I'm yes. Yeah, hey, sorry, my man. I've been wrong about them. Yes, you can't be idealistic forever. No, good people are often pressured to do bad things. Keep the faith. Don't look at me. As far as I'm concerned, the only one, only good bandit is a dead one. They're good or bad, but if you attack me, I fight back. Why is he attacking me? I know I shouldn't let my beliefs waver. If anyone's to blame, it's me. But still, all these books. In any case, let's go. I need some fresh air to clear my mind of these polluted thoughts. Am I taking him with me? I guess I am. Okay. I kind of wish we finished the um, finished the quest line before I finished last episode, because I have, I have no idea what the books are about, or like the significance of the books. I completely forget. All right, so leave Floyd Greymore. I don't know what we're doing with this guy. I guess he's I guess he's coming with us. I don't know. I thought we were going to finish this quest. Uh, to Skyrim, and then finally, we can get back to Whiterun and finish this quest and hopefully uh, see some pretty cool stuff. Which I'm sure we will. Yeah, so we got this guy. I'm so bad at like, keeping track. Hello, Mr. Elk. I'm so bad at keeping track of like the quests, the quests I need to do, and you know what's on the itinerary. I do a little hunt. What the, what is that, dude? That looked like a looked like Bigfoot. Nice little head here. Right oh, just wait till he picks his head up. I don't know why I'm doing this, but and boom. All right. Damn, that did no damage. Are you serious? Where is everybody? Where is everybody? <laughs> Time to end this. Here I'm comes Cassius. Look at our boy go. Where is he? Where is he going? He's, he's on a mission. Oh, he's going to attack the thing. The deer, yeah. Come on, Cassius. You, you got him, man. You got him. Yeah. <laughs> frozen man he's, he's frozen get him get him get him he's a little shy it's okay <laughs> well, at least some be good meal at least out of it I'm sure we'll put him to good use hi there miss Olena oh big lag big lag big lag what is this? A visitor to our farm? Oh, do stay for a while, dear. Oh, I plan on it, take Granny. Let me sh Now, you wouldn't mind if I take some things now, would ya? Nah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Every time I, like, hop on this game, it's a, it's a huge debate between being a, being a thief or just or doing things the right way. We'll see which one actually prevails as we get as we get more further into the game. <laughs> I like I've I've never been a thief. Or, excuse me, I've never been a thief. Um, it's just never ever played as an Argonian. Never ever played as a Khajiit. Never ever played as one of those dudes. What is this? The Western Watchtower, huh? Need a blade. You say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Trouble. Honestly, though, the outfits that these guys get is pretty sick. I hate the little, I hate the helmet and the little thing like coming over the mouth. Looks a little goofy. Yeah, like this guy right yes. here. <laughs> like you can't even see him. Besides that, they are they are kind of dripped out. The shields too. It's pretty sick. Sarthal, where is that? I don't even know where that is, man. White Run, here we come. It's 
so yeah, I would like to hear uh, how you guys are liking the series so far. Have I inspired any of you to uh, to play Skyrim or hop back on Minecraft or anything like, you know, hop back on some of the old games y'all haven't played for in a while or played in a while? This wolf is stupid, man. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Didn't even notice. Oh, that's because White Run hasn't hasn't finished loading yet. Here we go. You would think for a for a brand new computer like this game would load kind of fast, right? Just goes to show the uh, the advancements that game engines have had over the past. I don't know. When did this game come out? 10 years ago? What is it? 2024? 2024? 10 would be 14? Yeah, probably 10, 11 years ago. Um, and like, right now I can run, you know, like Fortnite's not much, uh, Fortnite's not, not much more hard to run than this, but especially with the mods. Um, I mean, but like, you know, I can run that 60 frames easy. You know, like ultra settings, I can run Call of Duty, I can run GTA 5, and then you got this 10 year old game that's pooping on my computer. It's 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 insane. And again, I know 90% of it's because of the mods and all the upgraded textures that the engine's not built to handle. Because again, it is 10 years old. It's not gonna have a a super advanced engine. But just still, it is it is kind of interesting that it still takes this long. And finally, oh my gosh. That is painstakingly slow. I think that might go in the video. Or in a thumbnail. It's so pretty. The artwork's just absolutely gorgeous in this game. You know, they could have had just a boring, boring old horse here. You know, just to symbolize, or just to let people know that it was a, it was a stables. But look at this. It's so cool. It's very intricate. Whoever decided to take the time to do that is, it's very cool. You're very a horse. Talk to my father, Skullbar. All right, you got a horse, my man. Did I buy it from here? I don't even know where my horse went. Speaking of that. Yeah, I have no idea. Where did he go? Was he at Greymore with me? <laughs> it's like... I'm, I'm completely blanking on, on where this guy went, man. Dude, with the dragon skull on the gate. Nazim, why are you... Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. All right, I'll go screw myself, but why does he seem familiar? I just want to have a nice chat with him. Is that he's just throwing shade at me like, all right, bro. Lilith Maiden Loom. Back in Whiterun, here we are. It's been a while, it feels like, man. When was the last time we were in here? Oh, that was with the prison, right? Yeah, that was that was fun, man. That was pretty fun. And what, this is a bounty board? If I remember correctly? Oh no, this isn't bounty, this is just random. This is a random little quest here. Hunt thief in Falkreath, hunt fugitive in the pale. This is just gathering, scaly foliata. Moonstone, Antlers, Letter to Soljin's Sinkhole, Grey Winter Watch, Clear Out Grey Winter Watch, ooh. Clear Need Out something? Nah, man. You. Grey Winter Watch, that sounds like it's gonna be all the way up in the middle of nowhere. Helgen, Helgen Escape Tunnel. Where is this? Made in Prison. Been in prison, escape hatch, been in prison. Doesn't say cleared. I guess we didn't finish it. 
shouldn't it populate on the map here? The little... The little quest? Necromancer's Bluff. Puzzling Pillar. Ruins. Pelagia. Oh, okay. I guess not. Whatever. Let's just... Let's focus on the task at hand here. Let's focus on the task at hand. This, this little, oh my god, dude, look at the puppy. He's so cute. Looks like, uh, what kind of dog would that be? Looks like a husky mix. Husky, face is 100% husky. Husky German mix, maybe? I don't, I don't know if huskies have those coats. It could just be a, could just be a husky period. You know, honestly, I don't, I don't know, whatever, whatever. The future of Skyrim. The future of Skyrim. And there it is, friends. The ugly children. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man. Ascended from flesh to rule the realm. If there is a statue of myself standing on a snake with a sword at its throat, I would definitely call myself God too. You kidding me? That's such a cool statue. White run is easy, easily. Brigands, I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world's gone mad. I say. Don't worry, man. I'll take care of them. Um, yeah, like I was saying, White Run is easily the like my favorite city. I don't know. It's it's just so gorgeous, man. There's just so much going on in it too. Oh, I can't show that. I don't think. Nope. I was gonna. I was gonna go check out the statue. I can't show that. Oh, definitely not. Uh, definitely not for kids. That's for sure. This video is getting a restriction. I'm calling it right now. I hope eventually I'm able to like this armor is sick. Um, I hope eventually I'm able to like get to maybe not Yarl of White Run, but you know, like pretty high up there. Lucifer, that's that's a name. I guess this guy's name is like Gore or something. Hrongar. Hrongar. May the gods watch over your battles, friends. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Run. No doubt General Talius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Man, I want to stay on the side of Balgriff here. And I hope... You don't mind. I've got a city to keep. Yeah, my bad, man. I hope that, it's, uh, that he's not on the Imperial side. I forget the, the times that I've played through this. And what ends up happening between him and um, Alfred? Because, like I said before, I always choose storm clothes. Like always choose them. The terminology is clearly first era and earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text, perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. Delphi. So I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Employers? Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. 
think your employers may be interested as well. Isn't isn't this girl the she's the person when we went to Riverwood for the first time. She was the girl that I bought the inn from, wasn't she? So what is she doing here now talking to the talking to the the mage wizard or like I forget what his what his title is. I think court wizard or something. You have a visitor. Hmm? Leave me alone. Bah, All right, yes, my bad. The Carl's protege. Ah. Damn. The dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> Seems Leave me alone. Above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. I'm I'm never this dude in video games. But No, you know, I got a I got a good amount of gold right now. I won't be I won't be stingy. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. Be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. Wait, what is this? Fongrime might know how, might know more about the dragon. Come to dragon, I understand. This is this is weird. This has never gone down like this all the Sadly times I've no. played. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation. Wait, that wait, what is he talking about? What? I'm so confused. What uh What do you mean bring like what are what are we talking about bringing to to Dragon's Reach? Oh. oh my god, I didn't, try. I didn't mean to do that, man. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get sentenced to prison now, I bet. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. You should come too. Damn, Irla. Dragon, how exciting. You're flowing, man. What was it seeing? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun. Are you sniffing? No, we can stop it. <laughs> Was he just sniffing her? Nerd. What the heck, dude? Yarrow Balgraf. Not now. Okay. Oh, dude. So, Irulet tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it what coming it? from the south. It was false. <laughs> Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Are we about to fight a dragon? Work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irlet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony. <laughs> Look at this my guy. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Is he mogging me you right now? Survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Damn right, man. But I I'm haven't him. forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. Faringar. And please accept this gift from my personal armor. Ooh, iron armor and minor stamina. Dude, what? No. I guarantee you it's gonna be shit. Yeah, okay, so we got 66 armor, 45 weight. 66 armor, 45 weight. 38 armor, 30 weight. Man, Kaiden was a step above. Kaiden's armor was a step of freaking above, dude. On ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of course. Am I encumbered? I am. It's, uh, I kind of wanted to sell. I wanted to sell the the chest plate that he that he just gave me. It's it goes for a good amount, but. I really do. Come on. I have 66 armor right now. Like, this stuff is just 
I shouldn't even be getting stuff like this, you know? You gain 50% health regeneration when wearing three pieces of heavy armor. Now let me see if we are. One, two, three, four. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. Nice. That's gonna be great. Excellent. And then we'll just we'll just drop this guy since we're uh Ebony Shield. I don't see myself ever using a shield. Honestly, I really don't. Um I okay, you know what? Next best thing. Where's where's Kaiden? Oh my this is gonna be so slow. Oh, he's behind us. Yes. Let me check sure. your gear, buddy. And let me give you this. Let me give you this. Shield, anything else? Oh my god, yeah, we do have so much. We we need to sell some stuff, man. We have so much junk in this in this damn inventory of ours. Kinjal, dagger. I shouldn't even be keeping that. I'm never going to use it. If I have a sword that's better, I, I'm not going to use it. Um, I can't I can't use this either since I have the helmet. Um, I'm not really looking to do mage this this playthrough. Like heavy mage, I'm still going to use magic. So I can sell this. I can sell this. I can sell that. I can sell that. I can sell that. I can sell that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I can, I can run, right? All right then. So many things on the list of stuff to do. Okay, so let's go to this guy. So what, what is his what is his quest even? It's his quest is just leave Fort Greymore, and we've done that now. So. Have killed this dragon before it can attack White Rug. Yeah, man. Give There's me a second. No time to lose. What's going on here? My home is your... Oh, dude, what is going on right now? It's glitching. This place is your new home. Let's travel to your home. You don't like your home, do you? Actually, I've changed my mind. Let's gather here. This place looks like a good home base. Um, I don't... Do I have to do this to get this guy off of my freaking... Off of my jog? And then I can't even hear him anymore. This place is your new home. Let's just say that. No, but then he's... Then the quest didn't even finish. Let's travel. Actually, I've changed my mind. Whatever you say. So, is he going to follow me still? Alright, he will. Okay. This game does get a little aggravating at times. Mainly with the quests. Um, I remember this one time, I think it was Winterhold where um the storm cloaks are i want to say it's winter hold i think we've been there before where is it? it's this guy right here windhelm um and windhelm there was this it was like a crime spree that this that this girl was on and i had to find her and literally i just i could not find her at all like i walked all around the city talk talking to like literally everybody um watched I watched like some videos on YouTube and that didn't even give me the right answer. So I was just like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna screw off. And then this guy, I think, is gonna have the same issue where I don't know if we'll be able to finish it. He might just be our permanent third follower. Oh, we actually already passed this. I didn't, I didn't realize this is the watchtower they were talking about, the Western Watchtower. Okay, so before we do that. We're gonna travel down here to Riverwood and complete this quest, sell all this stuff so we're in good standing, and then we can go back, fight this dragon, or at least look for it. I don't know if we are gonna fight it. I remember the Jarl saying not to fight it. Who went up? What did he say? He said, this isn't about glory or something. This is just about what we're dealing with here. Okay, so. We might, we might see a dragon. I don't know if we're going to fight one. That'd be pretty cool if we do. Ah, uh, gorgeous Riverwood. Here we are. Another day. What time is it? Six o'clock in the afternoon? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Really? What, what mail am I getting? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Cassius plea, huh? Well, didn't mean to do that. Cassius plea. Riches beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the reach. 
I believe they marked the entrance to a forgotten city. Or my brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Interesting. It's crazy that we've only done uh, about like a few hours of gameplay, or I mean, in this game, probably like we've only been in Skyrim for what, maybe two, three days now. I think I've only, I've only like f um, passed the time by, or like waited for time, maybe three or four times. So we we've been in we've been in this world for four days, and people are already talking about us. That's kind of crazy. So we got the Golden Claw. We need to go to the Riverwood Trader. And then I think it's this one over here. Yep. The Riverwood Trader. Isn't it crazy that we're level 5 too? Like when we first started off and we were uh, walking around Helgen and stuff. Like getting from like level 1 to level 2. Oh my, okay, level 1 to level 2 was the slowest thing I think I've ever experienced. Then like, 2 to 3 was quick, 3 to 4 was super quick, and now we're at 5 already. It just, we're going to be like level 10 in no time. They're going to be powerful, boy. We can take on anything. You're back from Bleak Falls. Did you find anything? Perhaps. You found it? Perhaps. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and put my Put it back sister. where it belongs, right on the counter. <laughs> right on the counter for everybody to see. Thank you so take a look. Oh, I got a lot of stuff for sale, mister. Dude, 19 gold, bro. 19. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sure. I like that. Skull, don't need that. I don't think I need Horker Tusk. Don't need a knife. Don't need a bowl. Uh, I'll keep the hides, sure. Wait, what, man? I have I have so much more stuff. I have so much more. I have this stuff here. Ugh. Um, okay, so change of plans, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to drop this shit because we're, we're never going to use this. Of arcing. This has two less damage. No. Kaiden's war bow. Keep that. Drop the imperial. Drop the staff. Drop the staff. And then keep everything else. Alright, so we're in good weight standing now. Uh, I did forget what I was just going to say. Oh, yes. Yeah. We're going to... So this stuff right here, I'm pretty sure I might be wrong. But you can disenchant. So... Um, if I bring this to like an enchantment table, I don't have the enchantment of minor stamina. So I think if I have this put into the table, I take off the enchantment that I can put that I can re put the enchantment on any piece of armor that I want to. I'm pretty sure I might be wrong. One person's trash is another's treasure. Don't be surprised if you find that gone. Yeah, you know what? No cap. No cap. I don't think this guy has a, uh, um, like a like an alchemy table to to test it out, or like an enchantment table to test that out. No, he doesn't. Okay. All right, that's fine. That is fine. All right, so that is Riverwood Trader done and dealt with, uh, and we quote unquote sold all all of our stuff. But is this my horse? Please be, please be, please be. Oh. Where did he go, man? I think we lost our horse. Spent 1,500 bones on that guy for absolutely nothing. That's crazy.
you know, we could fast travel to the point. But what's the point? You know, when we can walk for 20 minutes and maybe get attacked by an ogre. I, I say that's so much more fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. And it's honestly pretty close. I think we can see it right there. There it is, right there. I don't think my followers will be able to keep up with me since I'm going over these rocks and stuff, but... Eventually, they'll, uh, they'll catch up. Eventually. Oh, we got some wolves right here. Let's see if I can get a nice little cheeky shot off before they attack. Alright, or not. Or not. Damn! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that. Leona coming in clutch, man. See, you don't see Kaiden doing that for me. Get out of here. Yeah, and it's great. Wolves, like, aren't even a challenge anymore. I mean, come on. Like, when are they... When are they ever a challenge? But you know, when I when I was walking out of Helgen, they were a little scary. But now they're just they're just baby food, man. They're just baby food. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut here. Oh, I might might be loading. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to cut until this area loads. We uh. So we don't get any audio glitches and stuff. I will be back in a few seconds. Alright, we're back. And we're loaded. This man's very picturesque. He's got a good picture face. We're all loaded up. Ready to see what this dragon is all about here. Ready to see what this guy, what the big fuss is here. Because I don't think there's actually going to be a dragon. But we'll see. Oh, yo, maybe not. What the heck? This place is on fire. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Thor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Yo, what? They got grabbed? Like the, the dragon picked them up? Let's save us. Here he comes again. What? Oh, dude. I don't want to fight a dragon right now. I don't feel like I'm prepared at all. What? what oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Where is this guy? Where is he? Oh my god, he's huge. Look at him. Holy crap, that's sick. Level 40. Level 40. I'm just going to pepper him up for now. Oh, Hit him, yeah. I was, I was, oh, good hit right there. Oh, that might be. Alright, time to get down and dirty. Let's do this thing. Oh, scared, Mr. Dragon. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he's around top of me. Oh my gosh! Who was that, dude? Who was that? They got destroyed. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Hello there. Dude, what? This guy's trying to kiss me, man. Oh, why is he so far? Why is he so far? Oh, there's people over there. I'm, I'm gonna try to get some, some backstabs in while he's down, down here. Okay. Oh my gosh, no, he's eating me. Oh, oh. Oh my lord, dude. I forgot how absolutely tough dragons are in this game. It's terrifying. Dude. They are terrifying. Oh, 
strikes. That's good. That's some good damage right there. I feel like I'm the only one killing this thing. I'm the only one doing dealing damage to it. This is insane. I'm the only one dealing damage. What the heck? Fifty. Nice, and that broke two sixty. Let's get around him. Let's get around him. Why are you missing? Hit him! Hit him! Oh wow! I'm upset. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! See what's going on. Where is he? He's over there. Okay. All right. He's in. Uh, he's in attackable range. Man, I need to get some, some stronger spells, huh? This thing does no damage. Good crit. Solid damage. Keep it going! Yeah, these spells stay. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Maybe a few more times. I'm thinking two or three more lands. We can get closer to each time he lands. Right. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, yep, he's dead. One more. Let's go! Let's go! This is... This is very thumbnail-worthy. You know, if it was actually... If it was actually light out, I could see what's going on here. Use the shout section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force shout. Word of power learned force. Unrelenting force. Interesting. Complete. Investigate the dragon. Report back to Yarl, Yarl Balgriff. Optional. Use your new shout power. I think I just might. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Come on. Ew. I didn't even think about it, but I'm gonna equip. I'm gonna equip Leonia. Leonia? What is her name? Leona? Leona. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? I'm gonna trade some good armor. Or at least give her some good armor. Yeah, sure. Why don't we do that? We'll give her the good armor, and then... I don't know how you... She wasn't wearing a helmet, so she just uses that one automatically, but I don't know how to take her chest with that she has on off, and then have her... What do you want me to carry? Use this one. I don't know. No, because then that's... Ah, this is annoying. I'm just going to give her both. I'm just, I'm just going to dump it. Whatever. doesn't really matter. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what I just did. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you may be right, man. There's only one way to find out. 
Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. That's so cool, dude. I can speak dragon language. Uh, what was it? Favorites, sh destruction, shouts. Here we go. So I equipped it. I'm going to favorite it. And then I think Z. Yep. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. That's so cool, we dude. We taught that dragon not to mess with Whiterun, didn't we? That's so cool. I want to thank you for freeing me. I realize now that my beliefs, for all their good intentions, failed even the most rudimentary of tests. I don't know. Perhaps I will write a book about bandits instead of for them. Either way, you deserve a reward. Here, it's a poison I found in my cell one night. All that talk about hanging myself was just a lie. I had the means to do it, just not the courage. Hopefully it will serve you in some capacity. Goodbye. So it took us defeating a dragon for him to fully realize that he was in a wrong. Yeah, when we actually left the fort and did all this, this traveling, he didn't, he didn't realize it until he saw me defeat a dragon. And then he was like, you know what? I might have been wrong. Jesus. Well, that's one less follower. That's okay. Um, so this was sick. I did not expect us to get into this right now. We just defeated a level 40 dragon. Look at this thing, dude. Oh. Gorgeous. This will probably be the thumbnail. Honestly. Honestly. Get it in some good, uh, some good light levels here. And we'll take a nice photo. Um, but I think... Let me just check the, the timer on, on the video real quick. I'm trying to keep these videos at about an hour. Okay. Alright. Uh, this isn't great. The greatest lighting. I wonder if we should get some shelter. Weird out this rear. Yeah, we probably should, dude. I need these guards to get out of the way that I can take a good photo, but no. They just don't want to, I guess. They just don't want to. I think this would be good here? I don't know. I'll take that. I don't feel like this is a very artistic -y photo. Is he shaking it? Yeah, hey, get it, get it, get it, hey, go, 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 yeah, 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 work it, 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 damn, damn, he's tweaking, alright, anyways, anyways. A dragon skull with a nice uh the sky in the background. Okay, dude, honestly, that this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's gorgeous. So what, Balgriff so far has given us a axe and I think a chest plate now. So, I mean, at this point, he should basically just give us the rights to own Whiterun completely. Because that's just how important we are, obviously. I mean, like, come on. That seems like a pretty normal step up. You know, axe, chest plate. Then just just, just make me, like, co-yarl or, or something, you know? Good. You're finally here. I'll boss the people around. waiting for you. Shut up, Provantus. You, you know? The summons. You know? What else could it mean? So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Oh, the dragon was there, my guy. But I took him down single-handedly, nobody else. And that's why I'm dragon. I'm dragonborn. What do you know about the dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Oh, that's what that was. 
masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Throat of the world. What? Oh, so when we heard that, and then like my screen was shaking, we heard the, the it was like lightning. It was like, Psh! da da da, and they said something. So that, those are the gray beards. Okay. Gifted in the voice. The ability to focus, focus your vital your essence. essence into a thume or shout. That's sick. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards. Okay. Summoning yeah. you to yeah. High Hrothgar. High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Interesting. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I'm Dragonborn, I don't dude. see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Oh yeah? Boom! Nord nonsense. How about Why that, man? I need to ask you to stop. <laughs> that shouting is making people nervous. Hey, my bad, my Glad bad. Glad we straightened that out. My bad. Don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that... <laughs> What are these After I showed him. <laughs> That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. Oh, it's sick. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. Another weapon? Oh, Thane. I have a title. I assign you Lydia as a personal, personal house Carl. Carl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as oh, your badge gee. of office. Let's go. I have a title. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. Okay, so we we're definitely staying on his side. Yes, my lord. Hey, y'all. Uh, I bet a lot of people who are, who are going to watch these videos are uh, Stormcloak. I want to say sympathizers, you know, because I am one too. Yeah, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll say sympathizers. But Balgrif's my guy. So whatever he his side is, I'm sticking to that side. Because now we got a title. I don't know what Thane is. I don't know what I can do with that, but hey, it's something. You know, it's pretty cool. If you ask me. Alright, so we got Kaiden. Um, I think Lydia, I think he said that was her name. I think that's our new companion. Um, Alright, so we got we got a lot of stuff to do. Speak to the Greybeards, 70 feet? Are they down, what? Another quiet day, I hope. What is this? Dragons Reach Dungeon, no, why would I wanna go down there? What the heck? What, are you trying to trick me or something? All right, so with finishing that quest, I think that is a good place to stop. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.